We've got a wonderful opportunity now to have an exclusive sea trial of a very beautiful new boat that is making its debut here at Cannes, and that is the Solaris Power 44 behind me here. Now, Solaris have been making striking sailing boats for many years, but only in the last couple of years have they started to build power boats. And you see they've really gone for it. They have focused on the day boat sector or the weekenders with really spectacular open decks and beautiful, beautiful styling. You can see some of the curves all around here. These are the air inlets for the engine, but they're very sculptural. And all the way along, there's a big folding side decks here, side bulwarks, so it creates a little terrace by the sea in there, either side of the cockpit there. We'll sit, go and have a look at that in a minute. But just look at those curves. Very beautiful boat. And particularly in this metallic blue finish that reflects the sunlight beautifully. It's got a little bit of salt spray along these decks. It's obviously been out sea trialling already. But let's jump on board, take a closer look and see how she copes with the sea outside. So let's have a quick look round before we get going. So this particular boat is around about 900,000 euros ex taxes. So you're talking about a million euro boat by the time you've paid your VAT. So it's very much at the premium end of the market. But what a striking thing. Look at that huge sun pad up on the foredeck. It's a full walk around design. Lots of lovely teak detailing. Big anchor lockers, through hull anchor. Keep it nice and concealed out of the way. Lovely stainless steel detailing. Beautiful lift up cleats. And a little strip there to stop the rope rubbing on the paint finish. It is a really immaculate paint finish. And these lovely teak rails down the sides. And you can see here, it's got, these are for the, the fenders. So rather than having a rail that you tie the fenders to, you tie the fenders to that and they just clip in and out on little buttons. It keeps it all very clean. So you don't have to have any, what they would think of as ugly steel grab rails around the side. You've just got this beautiful, unspoiled, view down the side deck. And you can see these platforms here, how the inside, they're going to fold down. And we've got a lovely teak deck there. And it goes all the way around the deck, including this dinette area here. And the backrests of these seats fold over. So you can see those will all fold over. And then you've got a very sociable seating area there. And that will be the support. Oh, that's quite stiff. But if you pull that out, and the table lifts up and folds over. There's a really good big dining area there. You get three or four people either side of that, no problem. And a big wet bar, two sections, so you've got the sink in there, the lift up tap, wooden cover, very smart. Fold it all back down. Under here, you've got all the cups and glasses. Bin. Over on the port side. You've got the grill, hob. And underneath, there's a full fridge there and an ice maker there. So, all the facilities you need on board for a lovely day out at sea. And you can see this very striking hard top overhead. It's almost like a mushroom stalk and then it fans out to create some shade overhead and you can see there's a track in here so you can have curtains around here to make a little protected hull area if you do get caught out in bad weather. Now while we're here let's take a quick look down below. Oh look, we've spotted another fridge. There's two more fridges under the seats here, one each side. Let's go and have a quick look down below before we get out to sea. So, here you can see it's all very open plan, but actually there's a good amount of space down here. There's a really nice big double bed up in the bow area. Very nice wood detailing. 
we're at a boat show so everything is absolutely ram full of brochures and bits and pieces for the stand but you can see there's nice leather stitching all the way around there leather handles on the hanging wardrobe nice little fiddled storage alongside the bed beautiful stainless steel some opening windows so you can get some ventilation and one up front and here and then well before we go down there let's just take a look this is the heads compartment and really on a day boat this is one of the most important parts of all and actually it's a nice day it's got a proper walk-in shower which is always good to see it's a loo got a little bit of natural light coming in up top and there is some ventilation through the shower there big glass bowl with a sink more storage underneath and then this whole cabin is open so you've got the stairs going up there and then into another second cabin under the cockpit and obviously there's not a huge amount of headroom underneath but actually it's quite a decent sized bed you've got the reading lights at the head of it you've got windows in the hull and there's even a sofa over on this side so that you can sit down there and there is just enough headroom to sit under that cockpit so you can sleep four on board it's really a weekender rather than a proper cruising machine but given that its principal role is as a day boat there is quite a decent amount of accommodation down here but now let's go back up on deck so i wanted to show you just what it looks like it is a properly up sea there is big swell water pouring out the back but no water coming on board that's a big deal you can drive through this kind of sea without getting all your guests wet that's very reassuring to know just gonna wake my way back here I can sit with my feet up in the back. The bow is quite well up at this, this angle. We're deliberately keeping it upright so that we don't get wet. But it's actually quite civilized. There's a bit of breeze in the air, quite windy. We've got the mic to the wind and us powering into it at 20 knots. But you know what? In these conditions, it's a lot more civilized than you give it credit for. So maximum respect to the whole designers. So now we've got some flatter water. We can just stretch his legs a bit, see what it'll do. Are you happy to give us full reds? Full reds? Can we just do a quick run in flatter water? See what she'll do. So now we're winding it up. And now we're running it. 35 knots, 3750 RPM, cruising along very sweetly, 36, 37 knots, look at that, that's what this boat is all about, not bashing through a head sea, whipping along, 37 knots, nice car motion. Now we are going to see this boat's party trick. By holding down these buttons here, you can see the side platforms folding down. And we're actually underway. We're cruising along in displacement mode. But you can see those two platforms folding out to create a wonderful terrace over the sea. And let me show you what that feels like. When you're sat here at the table, you have got this magnificent view out on both sides and it really does give you a better connection with the water regardless of whether you actually use them in terms of standing on them or diving off them it does just give you a wonderful outlook you can sit here and see the water right down at ankle level with those platforms just hovering over the sea. Now they are an optional extra feature, but you can see why you'd want to order it. 
because it does just give a very different perspective. And look at some of the nice detailing here. These stainless steel grab rails, beautifully shaped just to fit the windscreen. And the windscreen itself is completely frameless, so there's no stainless steel surround. It's just this molded screen with one central support bolted in and it just follows the curve of the boat. Very, very stylish design. Now there's one more trick up this boat's sleeve and that is the hydraulic bathing platform. You can see it's gradually winding down into the sea but as well as the platform going down it's revealing a very lovely set of teak steps so you've got a proper walkway down into the sea and that's quite a long way on. <laughs> But because like that you can put your sea bob. Ah, perfect. So you can, you can lift them up. Nice. So you can launch your sea bob. You put them on. Yeah. And after you bring them back on. Perfect. So you don't have to struggle with the weight of lifting because exactly. they're heavy. Those sea bobs. And after they go inside the garage. Very nice. Now that is pretty smooth, and I love the way those steps appear. It's a proper transformer boat. This. And now you've got to walk around with this lovely sun pad at the back. Yes, that. We can open it. Oh, and that lifts up. And there we've got a big storage area for all your fenders, ropes, little inflatable tender, I should think, if you want one, paddle boards. We've got the storage. Oh. Inside there we have two plugs yep. to be able to charge the sea bob. Ah, perfect. And then you Support here, yeah, and then you got your two C bobs charging. Very nice. And then after you put them up right yep. here, and they go down nicely. Perfect. So you've got storage and built-in charging for your C bobs on board. Yeah. Very nice, and still room for it. That's the sun canopy, and that's for the awning. Yeah. This one. Yep. Uh, you've got the, the rest is the life rafts, life, rafts, and, uh, life jackets, uh, fenders, fenders, toys. Yeah. Fenders, Very good. Balls. Brilliant. And access to the engines is down here. Ah, okay. So let's see if we can have a quick peek at the engines. And there we go. Down into the engine bay. Let's see if I can just briefly drop down into there. And there you can see the two Volvo IPS engines. And there's not a lot of clearance down there and not a lot of headroom. It's a pretty tight engine room. You can probably see if I'm having to duck get under here and I'm not even going to attempt to crawl under there while they're still running. But you can see how they're tucked in under there. Now this is a rather lovely spot on board. There's a bench right on the bow here, but there's still a little walk around so you can tuck your feet in you feel surprisingly secure but there are no rails in front of you there's nothing to spoil your view you can just chill out here cruise along we're now running with the waves but it is quite a magical experience and wherever you are there's just these beautiful lines on board